Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back to another Java tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be installing our IDE and creating a very basic Java project. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is come to the first link in the description, which will be jetbrains.com forward slash idea. So we are going to be using IntelliJ IDEA for these tutorials. Uh, it's a very good IDE and it also looks uh, quite nice as well. And it's free, which is fantastic. The other options are Eclipse IDE, um, and there are a few others, but I don't recommend any other ones because they're just not as good. Uh, but Eclipse IDE is also up to standards, uh, and both will work the exact same with this tutorial and all of these Java tutorials. So all you need to do, just hit download. You'll see there are two versions. So if you're willing to pay for the ultimate one, you can. Or if you are a student, you can also get access to the ultimate uh, one as well. Um, but we're just going to be using community for these. So you just want to hit download. And you'll see it brings up the casual uh, download window. We'll just save it on our desktop for this. Now, the big thing to note about IntelliJ is it's very large in space and it uses a lot of RAM and also it's quite heavy on your CPU so um, yeah that's that's something to take note uh, if you do have issues with you know RAM CPU uh, storage space uh, Eclipse is probably uh, a better option for you Eclipse may also be better for you anyways I recommend trying both just seeing um, how how you feel with both of them um, but that's that's up to you personal preference so as you'll see this is taking quite a lot longer to install than the JDK for example um, so we'll just wait for that to install five seconds left three two one and there you go so we can now close this tab and you'll see we have our idea uh, ic 2022.2 that is the latest as of right now and we can just double click that and you'll see there is a uac prompt so just hit yes on that and we can just go next now you'll see uh, i do already have um, it installed right here uh, however um, I I don't really want to I'll, I'll, I'll just check uninstall silently uh, for mine but uh, you can you can do what you will if you already have it installed which you wouldn't already have it installed of course uh, but I'm just going to get hit next with that one uh, then you can just choose where you want it installed that's perfectly fine I'm just going to actually say on my D drive would be ideal. Um, actually, I'm going to just make sure I do that correctly. So uninstall that one and uninstall it silently. There we go. That's better. Now this goes to my D drive. That's fine. Obviously, install it where you want to install it. We'll hit next. Now here are a few things you might want to do. Um, so you probably want to make a shortcut on your desktop maybe um, you can add this context menu and you can create file associations if you wish uh, I like to do a Kotlin file association even though I don't use Kotlin it, it just makes more sense to me and uh, you can add the bin folder to the path if you want that does require a restart of your computer so from there you can just hit next and install and you'll get the whole installer window now this might take some time so uh, i will let this run through okay that is just completed and you'll see uh, it must be restarted in order to complete and you can go ahead and reboot now i'll manually reboot later that's perfectly fine and then you can just delete your installer now you can go ahead and search for IntelliJ on your computer. So as you see, 
IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition. Now I'm just going to go ahead and pin that to my taskbar and unpin this old one. And I'm just going to close this project because you should get a window like this. Now, as you see, I have a bunch of things here. Uh, we don't want these ones, uh, any of these. You won't have any of these, of course. Uh, but from there, you can just create a new project and you can do just a, an empty project, really. Um, so we'll just call it um, Java Tutorials. And uh, that'll be on my desktop, sure. Uh, we'll create a Git repository if we want, of course. Uh, I'm going to do that because why not? Um, we'll just stick with IntelliJ for now and uh, Java, of course. And you can add advanced settings if you wish. Uh, we'll just leave it like that. And then you can just hit Create. Okay. And you'll see you now have a Java project. And you'll see it comes with quite a few uh, files here. So you have uh, an idea file. This just holds the project files. You have your source file, which is your source folder, I should say. And this is where all your code will be. You have a git ignore, let's just forget, and a project file as well here. You have your main class, and all you need to do to run your main class, which we'll talk about this in a little more detail later, uh, but we'll just go ahead and hit run right there. And you should see in the console, hello world, but we'll talk more about that in the next tutorial. So yes, um, I hope you guys did find this tutorial useful and obviously if you did please do be sure to go ahead and smash your face into that like button and give it a subscribe as well. So yeah I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Goodbye.